Well, now, first of all, I ought to talk about maintenance doses. And maintenance doses vary from person to person. Uh, you could have kissed the wrong girl when you were 16 years old and gotten the Epstein-Barr virus, or herpes 6, or cytomegalovirus, or something or other, which maybe you didn't get sick at the time, but you carry this virus inside you and it produces free radicals so that your tolerance to vitamin C might be higher as a result of that, you see. So that's one of the reasons why everybody's bowel tolerance to vitamin C varies as a, as a maintenance dose, you see. And one person might, I mean, there are few people that get diarrhea as low as five grams a day. They're unusual, but they may be the ones who just have none of these little bugs in them at all, you see. Whereas if you have the average amount of bugs, you'll probably be able to take 10 to 15 grams of ascorbic acid a day. Now some people who have like chronic fatigue and so forth will take 30, 40, 50 grams a day as a maintenance dose, you see. But then getting an acute disease like a cold or a flu, everything is off. Instantly you may be able to take 50 to 100 to 150 grams right then. And what we have found is that smaller doses more frequently are important. So this question about whether or not to take it with meals, uh, it, it could be that you might want to take your ascorbic acid associated with meals maybe. It doesn't make much difference, but let's say you had a pattern for your maintenance dose, that would be okay. But when you're starting to take it for a cold, for instance, it's probably better to take it every 15 minutes to a half an hour, smaller doses. Like I would rather see a person take uh, two grams every 15 minutes uh, rather than four grams every half an hour or a great eight grams every hour, you see. And it turns out that the more frequently you take the dose, the more likely it is to knock out the acute symptoms. But for people with maintenance doses, usually four to six times a day is, is enough. But then if you get a disease like mononucleosis, you may be taking, oh, like six grams every 15 minutes for a few hours. And you keep taking it until you feel sort of a reversal of the symptoms or else you start getting diarrhea. And as soon as you get diarrhea, then you may want to back down on it for half an hour to an hour, see, before taking the next dose. Now, this sounds complicated, but actually you get a feel for it. You can feel this stuff working in your body. There will be a sudden relief of a lot of the symptoms, and then you match the relieving of symptoms with the onset of diarrhea to figure out the exact dose and the rate that you should take it. Well, then after doing this, uh, uh, say a maintenance dose, uh, when you're not sick, after doing this for two or three weeks, you just know how much you can take at any particular time. And that, that's another thing, <clears throat> is that some people, particularly those with allergies, will find that their dose varies throughout the day. And so one might be able to stand a, a six gram dose first thing in the morning, but in the afternoon, they've got to take three grams, you might say. Or it might be the reverse, you see. If they're building up food allergies, they might sleep it off during the night and be only able to take three grams first thing in the morning, but then as they eat, they might take six grams or so. So there, there's a variable dose on this, but it sounds complicated, but you, the major thing is to listen to your body, and your body will finally tell you what to do, unless you have things like ulcers or some screwed up GI tract.